guys, Felicia White here, and today I'm continuing my series on the book The Power by Rhonda Byrne, and we are on part 32, The Power and You. Everything has a frequency. Everything. Every word has a frequency. Every sound, every color, every tree, animal, plant, mineral, every material object. Every type of food and liquid has a frequency. Every place, city, and country has a frequency. The elements of air, fire, earth, and water all have frequencies. Health, disease, plenty of money, a lack of money, success, and failure all have frequencies. Every event, situation, and circumstance has a frequency. Even your name has a frequency. But the real name of your frequency is what you are feeling. And whatever you're feeling is bringing everything into your life that's on a similar frequency to you. When you are feeling happy and you keep feeling happy, then only happy people, circumstances, and events can come into your life. If you feel stressed and you keep feeling stressed, then only more stress can come into your life through people, circumstances, and events. You have seen this happen when you've been rushing because you're running late. Rushing is a negative feeling, and as surely as the sun shines, when you rush and feel the fear of being late, you bring every delay and obstacle into your path. It's the law of attraction working in your life. Do you see how important it is to feel good before you begin your day? If you don't take the time to feel good, then you can't receive good things in your day. And once negative things come, it takes far more effort to change them because once they're in front of you, you really believe in them. It is much easier to take the time to feel good so that they don't come in the first place. You can change anything in your life by changing the way you feel. But isn't it a better idea to have more good things come to you in the first place? Watch the movie of your life. Life is magical. What happens in one day of your life is more magical than any fantasy movie you can see. But you have to look at what is happening with the same concentration as when you watch a movie. If you're watching a movie and you get distracted with a phone call or you fall asleep, you miss what happens. It's the same thing with the movie of your life that is constantly showing on the screen of your day. If you are walking around to sleep and you're not alert, you miss the messages and synchronicities that are constantly speaking to you, guiding and directing you in your life. Life is responding to you. Life is communicating with you. There are no accidents or coincidences. Every single thing has a frequency, and when anything comes into your life, it means it's on the same frequency as you are. Everything you see, every sign, color, person, object, everything you hear, every circumstance, and every event is on your frequency. You know that when you're driving and you see a police car, you suddenly become more alert. There is a reason that you saw that police car, and most likely it is telling you, be more alert. Seeing the police car may mean even more to you, but you have to ask the question, what is this telling me? To receive the answer. Police represent law and order, so the police car may be a message of something that's out of order in your life, such as you forgot to call your friend back, or you didn't thank someone for something. When you hear an ambulance siren, what is it saying to you? Is it telling you to be grateful for your health? Is it reminding you to give love and thanks for the health of the people in your life? When you see a fire engine race past you with its lights and sirens going, what is it telling you? Is it saying there's a fire somewhere in your life that you need to put out? Or is it telling you to fire up your love? Only you will know the meaning of the things that come into your life, but you must be alert to what is happening around you so you can ask questions and receive the meaning of the message for you. You are being given messages and feedback constantly, and you have been receiving these messages all your life. Whenever I hear something, even if they are words from a conversation of two strangers who are standing near me, if I can hear their words, their words have meaning in my life. Their words are a message for me, they're relevant to me, and they're giving me feedback on my life. If I am traveling and I notice a sign and I read the words, those words have meaning for me. They're a message for me and they're relevant to me. They're relevant to me because I am on the same frequency as they are. If I were on a different frequency, I wouldn't even notice the sign and I wouldn't be an earshot of a conversation. Every single thing that surrounds me in my day is speaking to me, giving me constant feedback and messages. If I notice that the people around me aren't as happy or smiling as much as they were, I know my feeling frequency has dropped and immediately I think of the things I love, one after another, and I feel happier. You can play with the law of attraction by asking to see physical evidence of the force of love. 
Think of something you love and make it your symbol of the force of love. Whenever you see your symbol or hear it, you will know that the force of love is with you. I use illuminating, illuminating sparkling light as my symbol. So if the sun hits my eyes or its light reflects off something into my eyes, or if I see anything that reflects light and sparkles, I know it is the force of love and it is with me. When I am overflowing with joy and love and filled with love, light reflects off everything around me. My sister uses rainbows as her symbol, and when she is overflowing with love and gratitude, wherever she looks, there are rainbows of light and all kinds of rainbows around her. You can use stars, gold, silver, or any color, animal, bird, tree, or flower that you love as your symbol. You can choose words or sounds as your secret symbol. Just make sure that whatever you choose, you choose something that you absolutely love and adore. If you want, you can also choose a symbol as a warning sign from the force of love to you, telling you to pay attention. In truth, you are receiving messages and warnings all the time. When you drop something, when you trip, catch your clothes on something, or when you bump into something, they're all warnings and messages you're receiving to stop what you're thinking or feeling. There are no accidents or coincidences in life. Everything is synchronicity because everything has a frequency. It's simply the physics of life and the universe in action. So that is part 32 of The Power by Rhonda Byrne. Go ahead and like, share, and comment below and click the link in the blog post below to grab your copy of The Power by Rhonda Byrne. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.